Yeah, well, absolutely. Big relief for now. Like the, you know, like you were pointing out, the next hearing is on the 29th, so that will be key to watch, of course. But with that, let's also move on to the latest from the corporate world. EY has honored the best business leaders at their annual Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. KP Singh, Chairman Emeritus of DLF India, won the Lifetime Achievement Award at the event. So Shireen spoke to him on a whole host of topics, including his personal life. Let's listen in. I started firstly my education in Madrasa, in a small Madrasa in Bulunshire. From there I jumped off. Went to, I did my the, the graduation in Merit College. And from there what happened? There I became a horseman because I learned it. Completely different. And then I went to aeronautical engineering in England. Mm. Completely different. And from there, because I was a polo player, horseman, I switched on to for selection by senders for Indian Army, from the Army. I enjoyed Army, everything, nine, ten years. Look at so, mother, sir, to aeronautical engineering, to go to, is completely, the minute you come to the Army, I enjoyed every bit of it. I stood first in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the academy in, in, in Dehradun, and uh, I enjoyed every bit of my, till it came around, that when I got married, I was very lucky to get married to a wonderful, family and a great lady, it, they, they had only two uh, uh, daughters, not sons, so father-in-law prevailed upon me that it's high time, they instead of playing polo, instead of fun, uh, to come and share a bit in business. So that's how I came, then I started manufacturing business, mm. electrical motors mm. and Miller battery. Thereafter, the family pushed me in 1975 to revive DLF again. DLF, yeah. DLF was totally closed. Yeah. So for how many different twists and turns you take in? But the biggest thing for me, it's question if I, uh, if a challenge, most difficult was, how do you buy land from feudal families mm. and how do you integrate it? It's the most difficult thing. And that too on credit, by the way. When we had, I had no money. Yeah. So I had, credit can only, money, land will be given to you on credit only one. When an owner has explicit confidence and faith in you, mm. in your integrity completely, so I had to earn that thing. Not working, I had to really earn the faith of people, but it happened. Gurgaon is a classic example. Yeah. Gurgaon would not have happened if I were not a, a, able to, the government never helped me to buy a, even a piece of land. I had to do it myself, with my own thing. Now today you see how many, the, uh, to more than 12 lakhs are is, is, is exponentially growing every time. There's a win-win position. Half the revenue of Haryana State comes from, from, from Gurgaon. And as you know, this type of people saying uh, uh, that there's a catalyst for bigger employment. How many people's mm. homes are there? How many new gen uh, generations have come around to bring businesses? So th that's why a city like this Gurgaon is a pace setter, catalyst. Mm for creating more employment, for ensuring more income to the state, and for ensuring good homes, recreation, hospital, education centers. It's only a good city will do, not clustered up city, mm. not the way we're doing before. So I hope they can do it. I, I just appeal to, to them to change, uh, to relook at their urbanization policy. And you can catch this entire conversation today at 5 p.m. only on CNBC TV 18.